Hi everyone, I'm Tanaz from foreverconscious.com and this is your weekly energy forecast for the week of March 26th. So this week we are moving through the last week of March and into the month of April. So what do you need to know? By the time we are at the midpoint of April, we are deep in eclipse season and we also have our first retrograde planet since January. So a real big energy shift coming in the middle of April. But for now, it's kind of smooth sailing and I want you to make the most of this time because as we get closer to eclipse season, which we're kind of already in and we're already feeling but it intensifies after the Libra full moon on April 5th, and then as we get to that closer to that retrograde, energy begins slowing down. We step back into a little bit more of a transformative space where we're kind of encouraged to ride the flow. Eclipses usually bring some sort of acceleration on our soul journey, on our soul path. I like to think of them as leaps ahead in our soul path and so they can be a little bit challenging because sometimes we land uh, where we are before we realize we need to be there. So they can intensify, they can uh, speed things up, and they can be emotionally intense because of that. So, and then retrograde energy, that Mercury retrograde energy can cause a slowdown. Mercury rules over our mind, it can create a little fogginess, it can make decision making a little more difficult. So with all of that on the horizon, it's really a good idea to use the next couple of weeks, to use this final week of March where we're still far enough away from all of that, it's great, a great idea to use this to move forward, to take those leaps, to start something new, to put yourself forward in some kind of way. How can you bring new energy into your life? How can you bring new ideas, new inspirations, new perspectives? This is a really great time to push your boundaries a little bit in the sense that you want to kind of step out of your comfort zone and really assess, really look at your life and go, where can I make changes that will help move me in the direction of my higher self, my highest calling, or will just simply bring more peace and balance and harmony to my day. This is a really great time for taking action. I hope you were able to use last week's Aries new moon and equinox energy to set some intentions and this week your job is to really get started on taking action on those intentions even if just in a small way. How can you start to live and breathe some of those intentions? How can you take steps to bring them into your reality. That is a great thing to focus on this week. As we get into April, we have a, a beautiful alignment coming up between the Sun and Chiron. The Sun and Chiron will conjunct. This happens once a year and it really represents a time of healing, a time of being able to take some of those wounds and not necessarily fix them because when Chiron is involved, it's the wounds that we can't really fix. It's the wounds that we have inherited, that we've brought into this life, that usually come about in our childhood or in our younger years. They're the wounds that we take on on this journey that can't really be fixed. They're there. They're just a part, they become a part of who we are. And Chiron allows us to acknowledge this, that some wounds are just forever wounds. Some experiences that we go through, they just stick with us forever. Chiron allows us to acknowledge that and then to also find the strength in our wounds, the beauty in our wounds, to see our wounds as something that shape us, that mold us, that help us step in to the best version of ourselves, into a, into a new and improved or a truer, more authentic version of ourselves. That is where Chiron uh, energy guides us. Chiron is known as the wounded healer. It's its own wounds that help him step into this role as a healer, teacher, and psychic. And that energy is on offer to us and we can do the same. We possess that same gift to take our wounds and allow them to become portals of healing for ourselves and others, to allow them to become portals to teach, to share our story, 
and to allow them to become ways that we can access our intuition, our inner self, our higher self on a deeper level. And that is the energy that's really going to be present as we move into the month of April. That energy will uh, be at its most intense on April 5th, which also happens to be the Libra full moon, but we're in it already. We're gearing up to it already. And we're also, as we turn that calendar into uh, April, we're also getting closer to that eclipse energy as well. Eclipses are really, really potent. So we tend to feel them up to a month before they arrive and a month after they have passed. So that eclipse coming up is on April 19th. So we're already well in that realm of eclipse energies. Eclipses, like I said, they can be highly transformative. They can bring sudden events, sudden changes. They can bring new aha moments or, you know, especially with this Chiron energy, we have a lot of emphasis this week on healing and bringing some sort of healing or acceptance into our lives. I hope that was helpful. I hope you all enjoy this week. Enjoy this energy. Make the most of it. Uh, I'm Tanaz from foreverconscious.com. Thank you so much.